Before running a simulation, it's important to check the material fit in the Material Explorer to make sure that the simulated material properties for sample data materials will accurately represent the physical material. This is especially important for frequency analysis where the multi-coefficient material model is being used. Open the Material Explorer from the check menu. The Material menu can be used to select a material. Click the Fit and Plot button to generate the plots of the data points for the real and imaginary parts of the material data, and the Material Fit curve which is labeled Eigensolver model in the legend. The Material Settings portion of the Material Explorer window includes the Fit Tolerance setting and the Max Coefficient setting. The Fit Tolerance setting specifies the target RMS, root mean squared error, between the generated material fit and the material data. You can see the RMS error displayed in the fit analysis below. It's typically safe to set the fit tolerance to zero. The max coefficient setting sets the maximum number of coefficients of the equation used for the material fit. The more coefficients, the more inflection points there can be in the fit curve. The material fit with the lowest error will be chosen, so the fit may use fewer coefficients than the maximum number of coefficients if using more coefficients doesn't result in a better fit. For example, here max coefficients is set to 3, but the number of coefficients used is 2. If the number of max coefficients is too high, it's possible to get a material fit which has a lower RMS error, but actually doesn't give a better fit. As you can see here when I change the max coefficients to 5, as it leads to extraneous peaks in the fit. This is one reason why it's good to visually inspect the fit. The viewing range of the fit can be adjusted from the view settings if needed. Clicking on the Show Advanced button exposes additional advanced fitting parameters. The imaginary weight is the relative weighting placed on the fit of the imaginary part of the permittivity or conductivity compared to the real part. By default, this is set to 1 to give equal consideration to the real and imaginary parts. A value of 2 will give twice the weight to the fit of the imaginary part of the data compared to the real part, and a value of 0 0.5 will give twice the weight to the real part compared to the imaginary part. The weighted RMS error displayed in the fit analysis is the RMS error with imaginary weight applied. It's important to remember that the weighting factor is applied to the imaginary part of the permittivity and not the refractive index. Therefore, it's best to plot the permittivity when adjusting the imaginary weight factor. The Improve Stability and Make Fit Passive options are selected by default. These settings are important if running time domain simulations using the VAR FTTD solver and typically don't need to be changed. Specify Fit Range allows you to set the wavelength or frequency range of the fit. By default, the fit range will be set to the simulation bandwidth. 